because I got to get done. Well, we can do them with you. Just go to your other phone. We can do them together. Well, dang, I don't have any luck tonight, man. My God, my, little, my fire ain't going. My fire keeps going out. Well, you know, that's not a good thing. When, Paul, your fire goes out, I'm getting worried. Yeah, I know. You just got to keep it going. For some reason, I just not want to stay. It's going out tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But, but don't you worry. John Yates is taking notes. John can do you better than you can do yourself. I'm telling you. I've seen his cameos. It's amazing. <laughs> he does do a good comic uh, satire on that one. I give him Happy that. Happy anniversary, Fiston. I'm just what? reading some... No, oh. he doesn't want to throw Karini in the fire. That's no good. Let's not wish violence or anything on anybody. Because you know what? No, Tonight is I'm, Christmas. I'm, violent on that. I'm sad and disappointed on some stuff, but I'm not violent by any means. No, I'm never, I'm never going to be violent. Anything, I got a fire pit all the way far away from the house. Fire pit's way out. I got all the leaves and things raked around. I got a hose. I literally have a garden hose and a Paul, fire thing. Paul, Paul. Yeah. Paul, slowly, slowly. Let's make sure every – oh, Molly's on here too. Hi, Molly. Crazy. Molly is absolute. Molly is one of the best people, the strongest woman I know. And I thank Molly because she sent Annie some of the best lingerie. Holy shit, you think I'd be 150 pounds again. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to talk to her about some bras for my mother. I forgot about that. I'll have to reach out to her. My mom has to get, actually had breast cancer thing. She needs special bras. And I was going to try to surprise her with her, but surprise her for her birthday, I guess. Nine, oh, Vanessa, let's – we everybody, everybody with me say – Merry Christmas, Vanessa. Merry Christmas, 90 Vanessa. 90 Day Fiance News. She is one of the fairest, kindest people all the way to Canada who oh, really has opened oh, up. God. She's water. amazing. What did you oh, drink? Man. You didn't say hello to you. You got food in my face. What are y'all doing? But Paul, slowly. Yeah. We don't want you having a heart attack and dying on us yet. No, no. I'm no day. <laughs> Vanessa, Merry Christmas to you in Canada. Keep doing what you're doing. 90 Day Fiance News, bringing you the fairest, unbiased news about 90 Day Fiance. Gotta yeah. love it. <laughs> so, Paul, um, let, let me get an update. What are you doing tonight? It is almost Christmas in Kentucky. Yep. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, I just went out. Uh, fire went out, so give up on that. And uh, with the... Uh, dogs out there i'm probably gonna go out there and double check their water again here in a second uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet I visit my visit my parents visit my aunt a that's aunt, always a good thing I, yeah visiting my aunt went really good oh yeah john yates has good quality posts paul i think we're losing you paul come back get back near the wi-fi no i'm not late yet jacks i'm just having a glass of wine Paul, are we losing you? There we are. There you are. Are you gargling your throat? You look like you're ready to spit something out of your mouth. No. Oh. We're losing you. You can get back near the Wi-Fi. Dude, you look like you just gave a blowjob. Just either spit it out or swallow it. Just get on with one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm still teaching English. Right now I'm trying to teach Paul how not to choke. There, spit, spit, no, spit, I was spit. out there about to uh say to my dogs and when the dogs I guess she ran the poop, she jumped up the thing and the poop flopped in my face. So I had to go in there and get some listerine and get the poop taste out of my mouth. Well, you know what? Look, if you're into scat, that's not our business. We don't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I went and got the mouthwash and just rinsed it out real quick. But, you know, look, we've all seen two girls, one cup. I don't want to, you know. So, no, I, don't I, know. Can't I, do I can't do that. Uh, yeah, no. That, no. that just turns me. That's Paul is right. not having a breakdown. Look, if Paul was having a breakdown, I wouldn't be allowed to talk. Paul, you've got to get near your Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'm walking to the dog not... kennel. I get into the dog kennel. It, uh, it cuts out. So I'll just walk well, the back. Dogs back. Don't... Wait a minute. Are you telling me you don't have Wi-Fi for the dogs? No, 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 no. I have Wi-Fi. No, I was uh, 
just going to check on, make sure the water, everything's all right with them. Anyhow, tomorrow <laughs> is Christmas. I know things with you right now are up in the air, and you don't have to discuss it. We're not here to talk about you no. and the other half. We're but you know what? Out. Hopefully. That's right. Keep figuring it out. Let's not talk about it because it's not my business. But what I want to say is, what are you going to do for Pierre for tomorrow? It's about Pierre because it's oh. his first Christmas. Yeah. We actually got uh, a variety of Christmas presents for him. Uh, Karini picked out. It's like a, a – like a, the Disney tricycle right now will be more like mm. a uh, uh, a stroller, I guess. But we can use it as a stroller. But also, it's like a he, you know, he, he obviously is going to love it. Um, <laughs> we know for other reasons, but he really is going to like that. And he'll actually goes up to him for like new, a couple years old, so it'd be really nice. Then uh, what else we get him? We got a bunch of other uh, Mickey Mouse Disney themed toys. Oh, awesome. uh, somebody oh, actually sent us, and I got to reach out to him. Somebody sent us the nicest Disney gift pack to our P.O. box. We got it yesterday. I was really surprised about that. That was really, really nice we did it. You know, I got a lot of other positive Christmas cards um, from family, so the P.O. box is very nice. And then, you know what I didn't get? I never got my signed photo from you. Like, I was looking for it to frame it on the well, wall, but I never got it. It's coming. <laughs> Andy was part of the field of my post. Andy is, you know, you also didn't send me your address, little fucker. But, I mean, Andy's been working on signed <laughs> pictures. <laughs> you know, um, Paul, you don't need a signed picture. I give you a free cameo. I call you twice a day. It doesn't matter anyway. Um, yeah, we do talk a lot. That's you true. know, so what I'm saying is, this Christmas, forget what's going on between you two. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about positive, happy things. Yeah. You yeah. have a son who looks like your twin. It is yeah. Mini Paul. That's true. There's no denying I mean, that. There's no DNA, DNA test needed on that one. He looks just like me. There's no denying it, that. You know, and this is what I'm going to say is you've been blessed with so many wonderful things this year. Okay. Think about the positives of what you have. No matter what goes on between you and Karini, let's not, and I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about what you have and such, so many reasons to be so grateful and thankful. You have a son who adores you. I've seen yeah. you with pictures with him. I've talked to you on the phone with no cameras around. And this boy loves you more than life itself. And you are so blessed for that. He's, yeah, and he's healthy. He sleeps on the flights. Uh, we, we fly between America to Brazil either way. We got him a nice pillow. We lay it down. He lays right down, sleeps the whole six, seven-hour flight, whole way. He'll sleep, which is amazing. It's a, a huge blessing, as you know, I'm going on long flights. Oh, I'm, and, look, I've got three kids, six grandkids. I have no eggs left. But, I mean, um, <laughs> what I'm saying is enjoy what you have. And I think everybody who's watching this tonight, Paul, many people, you know, get angry at you or get upset about you because of your reactions. But the thing is, if they know you for you for who you are, look, you love your son. I know you're trying to make your relationship work the best as it can. Whatever will be, will be. We don't need to know that tonight. It's not our business. But one thing that is so important is that you are happy with you and the fact that your son really is lucky to have you because you care and you're trying to make his life better than what most people would have. And you have to think about the positive tonight. Now, I'm not trying to – I don't want to okay. talk about certain things because this is not about a dramatic night. We're not here to spill tea. No. No, you know, it's different things, as you know, I'm trying to figure out. I mean, you went through things. You went through a divorce and all that stuff, so you went through your oh, own yeah. thing. And I don't know what's going to happen with me and my thing. It's still all up in the air. Um, but, I mean, if you don't want me asking, how did you know um, – when you, when you, when you're, you know, your whole thing happened, how did you know it was time to just give up? How did you move know? on? Yeah. Well, my wife, ex wife moved out of the house that she wanted a divorce and left me stuck with it. But it was, you know, at that point, she said, I don't love you. So why beat a dead horse? Okay. It was horrible. It was the worst thing that I thought could ever be. And you know what the best thing was? She did me the best favor because three years later, Annie. Yeah. I moved to Thailand. Two years after that, I meet Annie and my life has never, been better you know annie doesn't get squashed first of all annie <laughs> people like annie get squashed by me first of all you have to know what you're doing not to squish somebody second of yeah. all when you're on the bottom you can't get squished so you got to figure out the math on that <clears throat> just because i'm fat doesn't mean i can't do certain things uh good try guys good try anyhow yeah, yeah. I look like a professor. we love our family that's it it is what it is you know what do you always say 
Oh, goodness me. Now, when you come back to eat your stuff from Chris and everything, you know, temporarily, um, which a lot of people will probably see and figure out, um, we actually had your uh, your bed set for a while, ironically. ironically I'm sure it probably could walk out by itself. Yeah. <laughs> temporarily, we used your same bed set for a little bit. All right. So, uh, it's like, I guess, the same place and same, and even the same sheets. The same sheets, the same bed set, the whole same thing. So we're Don't used worry, to make we washed it by the Asian market because we wash our sheets often. Um, <laughs> oh, man. What else uh, happening and going Annie on? Annie doesn't have fetishes. She just enjoys what she wants. Everybody says this is a fetish, that's a fetish. There's no such thing as fetishism. That is such an old saying. Whatever somebody likes or wants to do, that's not a fetish. It's what they enjoy. It's not what is normal is not normal. Annie's in the shower because she likes to be clean. It's this time of night. It's, you know, every night at about 10 o'clock, Annie likes to shower. That's it. So the sour. I, I love Annie, too. I know. Everybody gives, you know, a look. When I was 150 pounds, nobody would have talked to me this way. It just oh, it is. I'm fat right now. I can lose the weight. Yeah, and yeah. Paul seen the photos, tonight, guys. Yeah. Let's all congratulate Paul. John Yates, you'll agree. Paul is actually calmer tonight. He's looking at the camera. He's relaxed. Well, yeah. I mean, yesterday when I and that whole thing happened, I was like kind of in shock. Like, is this really going on the other night? I'm like, this is really happening. I thought because I've been through this similar before in the past, just not involved with a kid, but I had some similar things in the past. I'm kind of standing there like, is this really happening right now? And I was just in shock. The whole thing was just like in shock. The whole. I mean, I just. Didn't know what to expect, so yeah. But can I ask you a question? I'm going to be straight up. Yeah. If she wants to go off with this guy, Blake, and fuck around with him, why hang on to it? Why not? Just, there's so many girls out there. I watched John Yates' live the other night. So many girls would love to be with you. One, the fact that you would even cut their hair and keep it. I mean, <laughs> shit. Have you not I seen you me for my hair. I mean, have you not seen the stuff I've done on camera? <laughs> no, I've seen it. I, you know, I wouldn't. There's some things I wouldn't do, like sniff your underwear. But that's okay. I mean, that's up to you. You know, oh, it's, every guy's done it at some point. I'm sure a lot of people have in your home, and you don't know. Especially yeah, back absolutely. You don't know. Look, I okay. wish I had hair you could cut, but it, it, you know, it's just not going to happen. I'm getting, too. I'm getting there slowly, receding, but yeah, <laughs> I'm getting there. But I'm, you know, just enjoy your life, Paul. You have one life. It's not the dress rehearsal. It's the real show. Yeah. That's it. And that's you all I'm saying. Everything from hair to, to poops into the P.O. box. My goodness. I'm no, you know kinds. what? And that's okay if, if you like that. Um, no, no. Somebody just said the, get oh, out of in the chat. <laughs> somebody said I haven't said the word cameo three times. If you guys want, whether it's for me, John Yates, or Paul, go to www.cameo.com and see what you want. Okay. I'll be doing my cameos in a minute. I'll be doing I those. We finished it's ours. We're, we're done all the money. cameo money, for the most part, all went to stuff that Karini wanted or wants. So she doesn't mind it anymore. So I was like, you know, you said, you know, I want oh, this, man. I want that. I said, cool. Cameo. Well, let's let's back game. up. Stephanie right here says, who has a foot fetish? Steph, Jimmy's fetishes are cheap massage and apartment hopping. So what do you guys think is a foot fetish? They're talking about foot fetish. Mess with feet, suck on feet, things like that, I guess. To me, there's no such thing as a foot fetish. If you love somebody, you massage them from head to toe, toe to head, head, knees and toes. doesn't matter. A fetish is something that makes you happy. It doesn't matter. Jack in the Box is my fetish. I like Jack in the Box. Who talked with for $1.29? What's wrong with that? No, okay. That's right. <laughs> so Karini is here at the moment. Temporarily. Hi, Karini. Hopefully. Yeah, she's back there. Hopefully she stays. I'm hoping and praying. Um, just trying to, you know. Feliz cumpleaños, Archie. Woo. Oh, sorry. Wait. That's John Yates telling me how to do that. Sorry. Yeah. Now, everybody thought I was going to freak out and go crazy and go nuts and go well, do something. Well, let's say hi to Karini. I was like, no, I'm not going to. All my stuff, my past, my past, all the past things that right. I was accused of ever doing, I'm not doing that crap. Yeah, I'm so I was a little, I was disappointed. I was in myself. I, I run my mouth. That's about it. About as far as it goes now. All my past Can we stuff. Say hi to Karini. Would Karini actually say hi to me or no? She doesn't really like. Me. I don't know why. Hold on, let me see. Will you say hello? Is that okay? May I come in? 
Will you say hello on here? Can you say hello? You guys really pretty makeup. Here, just just say hello. Say hello. Hello. Hey, Karini. Merry Christmas. <laughs> bye bye. Sorry. Yeah, there's Pierre. He looks. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Pierre. Pierre. oh my God, it's little Paul. Karini, you made a beautiful little Paul. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> he looks just like Paul. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm trying to find, I am trying to find a Brazilian Portuguese speaking therapist. Uh, she's going through some pretty intense postpartum. Um, Who so I'm trying to find a therapist. Paul, wait a minute. Who doesn't have a baby in a foreign country come to America and not have depression? Fuck, 90% of the Americans yeah. suffer from yeah, depression. She had it over there, too, though. I mean, it's – and the, the thing is, I, I, that's what the doctors said. They all say it's that, and the mood swings are just constant. It's happy, sad, happy, sad, angry. It's constant. So I'm – if I can follow up, I do Portuguese, then I, I think know, that – I think about this. Thing. You and I speak English. It's easy to communicate. Can yeah. you imagine – you're living – you lived in Brazil. Can you yeah. imagine if you were by yourself and had nobody – to speak to in English, and yet you had to communicate your feelings. How hard would that be? Oh, it's difficult. I guarantee it. it makes it worse. That's why I'm trying to find somebody who speaks uh, Portuguese. So we, we had a we had a wedding, uh, a marriage counselor, and everything else before in the past. Mm -hmm. But we had some translators, things like that. But we need. I want to find an actual therapist who speaks Portuguese. Um, Absolutely. To help out, and also I want to my everyone listening crazy. Like somebody that actually deals with actual like. Angry, punched domestic violence victims. I've never hit Karini. Never have hit her. Oh, never. No, that's not your style. Like that. Paul, but you're not I a violent person. That special. I, I know that. that I want somebody to specialize that in that. So, you know, when she talks about things, they can talk to her about, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I'm hopeful I can find somebody at least, it's a, a therapist or counselor, um, and make arrangements for them to talk maybe Skype or through WhatsApp, something where she can vent and talk to somebody um, who's got a PhD would be ideal. And because she actually I'm, I'm was halfway there, but yeah. let me make a suggestion to you tomorrow morning after you guys get up, lay at her feet, give her a massage and just say, Merry Christmas. It's not about Pierre. I'm here for you to make your day as magnificent as I can. That might make her feel special because sometimes after having a baby, it's all about the baby and not the mom. And that's why I say make her feel that she is so important to you because there's one thing Annie and I have is we have each other. And if the two of us stick together, nothing bad can happen. And sometimes with children, it pushes parents apart because you have different ways of doing things. Yep. But remember, treat her like your queen. Remember why you proposed to her in Brazil. Remember why you wanted to be with her. And all these hardships, all these fights put behind you like it never happened and try. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at least you can go to bed at night saying, Paul tried his best. Well, and, and that does work, and I do do that, and it does work. But the thing is, is the constant uh, – well, anyone who's had postpartum knows what I'm talking about, so I won't get too much into it, but it's a constant mood swings. So it's just a matter of just, you know – but, like, I don't like it. The biggest thing is is when somebody, you know, when they don't tell me where they're going and they leave and I find out they're with somebody that I don't like them around, then, yeah, it gets upsetting. And then I got to – But, you know, I'm but don't worry about that because you know what? Yeah. That person might be around for a day or two for a week, but when that newness wears off, the reality is they don't he's want to deal been, with all that. He's been talking to her since, uh, God, before we were married. So it's been a couple of years. Okay. So they, so they go, if they want to go and they want to be together, that's okay because guess what? They might have been talking when it's exciting, but when you have to live day-to-day -day life with somebody, that's different. I do a lot of stuff that I'm sure he probably wouldn't do. I do a lot of stuff. Because I mean, the thing here is, too, I, I do the dishes. I do the laundry. Um, Green does. She, she cleans up, like, the bedroom. She's organized the baby room, uh, things like that. She does. She does do that. Um, okay. You know, I do everything I can to help out. Uh, I go mug me on everything I possibly can do. But, you know, even then, you know, I don't know. Like I guess if she gets away for a while, she will be able to do the same thing I did. You know, I mean, one thing. Look, I am 20. You're 33. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, that's what Karini was on. Karini was on uh was on Zoloft before. She doesn't take it no more. Uh, Zoloft is not note. the best medicine though. They, it's kind yeah, of a catch-all medicine. You don't take it but, anymore. Well, I wouldn't either because sometimes using natural foods. Yeah, what's a good Just going through the natural cycle of things. Remember, it's normal to go through 
ups and downs, depression, and postpartum is normal. Just being a supporting husband, even when she says stuff that drives you crazy, don't fall into it. Just be supportive. And look, if she chooses not to be with you, it's her loss. And she will, you have to live your life. The most confusing thing is, that's those confusing things, because it changes day to day. It's when you're with somebody that just like, okay, I'm on divorce, and this is done, da 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 and they're, they're constant, then it's going to be that. But when they change it, like, I want divorce today, I don't want divorce tomorrow. One day it's, I want divorce, the next day I don't want divorce. It gets confusing. It gets real confusing. Hey, well, I love I, you. I've, I've never lived through that. that. Annie doesn't say anything. So it's, day, it's just constant. You know, I just, the constant one day is confusing. So it's like, I know. Mm. But you know what? Don't stress yourself over it. Just be the loving father that you are. If Karini chooses to spend her life with you, awesome. Make it work and just do what I'm well, saying to you. This guy lives that. He lives actually, um, you know, that, you know, I told you before, the end of town, David, I told you about it was, and you know how dangerous that end of town is. Oh, God. West End is horrible. It's bad, real bad where he's at. Um, and she had told me and everything else, and I'm like, what? And so she's like, sent me like a thing, and like, I looked at it where he was at. I'm like, oh my god, it's horrible. The GPS well, it's not good. There. It's not good in the West End, and I've got a lot of friends there, and it's horrible because this current situation there. Look, I understand why you go. You know, people are saying, why is Paul going on social media, guys? Let me explain something. To you. Paul was on social media because he's asking us, asking you all, just to be a part of it. It's the way he processes things. And I look, I've known you for a couple of years. This is how you deal with things. It's not my style, but, you know, I don't have the same situations you have. And there's many people out here tonight that really, they're questioning why you're putting it publicly. Guys, he needs your feedback, your support, and understanding. It's how Paul functions as a person. Yeah, Paul needs like to vent. Yeah. He's not like he can speak to somebody in English and say how he feels. When you are married to somebody whose language is not English, you're limited to what you can share emotionally. Yeah, and that's what's one thing is too is I, I ask people, please don't send Cranny negative things. It, it just it causes her severe, severe, severe problems. You know, that's one thing we talked about too is like maybe we just we both just uninstall all our social media apps and we just you know stick to each other. And like I told her, and the thing is here, I really care about Karina and her making friends. I have introduced I, I know you numerous do. people. Numerous. There's a, a girl that, there's two cosmetics girls. Um, there is a Brazilian church group out in the East End who mm -hmm. talked to her about something like some kind of uh, clean, they sold some clean supplies or like a special mop, I forget. We bought some of that from them. They, they came over, they were talking to her. Really nice Brazilian church group of people. And I take awesome. her out to people all the time. But that's just said this one person, because he asked me some questions, and they were, I've told you what they were. I'm not going to mention them on the live. I told you what they were, and they are very inappropriate. And I mm -hmm. said, you know what? I don't want you around him anymore. He made some comments to you, made some comments to me. He obviously has the wrong intentions. Um, of course. Uh, and the thing is, too, he has, get this, make it even better, Dave. He has Sharp's contact information. He has uh, reached out to the producers. He's talked to the producers um, long before this fight happened. He reached out to them and everything else. So I know he's in contact with them. I know that he, that was his goal from the beginning a long time ago to get on there. So I don't know what's going to happen. If he gets on there, um, if he gets his way, which hopefully he don't, but if he does, uh, it's going to be drama. I'll say that right now. Hopefully they don't, but I just I don't, no. don't want to deal with it. When it comes to television, I can't say anything because my manager has advised me not to talk about anything on television. Yeah. I can only talk about me and what I'm going, you know, my life. Um, it makes me sick. The whole thing makes me sick. Using somebody on television makes me sick on that whole thing. The whole thing has just got me angry. But anyway, uh, what's your ex Yeah, I don't believe in cheating. It. Look, let me explain something. People saying cheating is not an option. Yeah. Let me tell you something from an older guy who did that. It sucks. Let me do, when you cheat on somebody else, you're cheating on yourself. That's it. If you want to be married, just say, I don't want to be married. And get divorced. Let each person have the right to be happy. Yeah. And Annie's in the shower, guys. Sorry. T Doc. <laughs> Let me call for her. Hold on a second. T Doc. She's listening to her time music and enjoying her life. Um, I look worse in the video. Sorry about that. I didn't put any hair and makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But anyhow, so the weather in Louisville is shitty? Yeah, it's actually kind of warm. Oh, like <laughs> maybe 60-ish, in the 60s maybe. I don't know. It's not oh, too bad. Wow. 
It's not too bad right now. You know it's Louisville. It's warm. It's cold. One oh, week it's below freezing. Next week it's 70 degrees. It's out well, Merry Louisville. Christmas. We were in Hawaii for the last week. Came back to 60-some degree weather. But that's okay. I also miss Tyler. Um And next week, uh, non RT for those that speak Thai, we will be in Las Vegas for New Year's Eve. And for the three days after that. Yeah, me and Karini, I don't know if we're still me talking back then, then, but I thought about going to, uh, possibly going to Las Vegas. I don't know. Well, we'll be there on the 31st of the 3rd. Mm. No, it'll be probably around, somewhere around January 18th, around her birthday. Uh, oh, so wait a minute. Somebody said, wait a minute. Uh, real DN, what is fisting as a real thing? What does that mean? Explain that to us. She posted fisting as a real thing. What does that mean? You know what fisting is? No. Okay. Um, yes, we remember, that, place, remember, that, remember, remember when I asked Karini's father if I could marry her? Yes. No, no, just turn that into a fist. Okay. A fist. I, Paul, Paul, please don't. Fist don't, don't. Think Wait. about it. Yeah, but who this does the who? That's the only thing I want to do. Yeah. This is definitely, fisting is definitely not appropriate conversation prior to this chat. I would say it's probably not appropriate. Probably well, why would anybody want that? Well, I mean, let me, let's be honest. I don't care how big, small you are. Is there any benefit to that? I, I'm just saying uh, there's a lot of women that like it. Hmm. Okay. Queen, I think you do. Okay, I'm reading the comments. <laughs> there's a lot of people that like it, Dave. No, North of Annie um, does not. That's not something she's into. Um. Oh, we don't want to do that. God. Well, yeah, I, yeah, Jay. Jess, I will stop on that note. Um, <laughs> miss something. You know, there's one thing I have to say about my wife. We will never talk about our personal life. I'll yeah, let her talk about that. Hey, Green, is there anything you'd like to say? Anything you want to say? <laughs> Nothing. Feliz cumpleaños, Aji. <laughs> But yeah, anybody out there that is uh, Brazilian, speaks fluent Portuguese, uh, that has a, a mental health background, uh, send me an email. Please Karina, reach out to Paul. Paul. Yeah. Send me yes. a thing on there. Please reach out to Paul. Cameo them. Them. But, yeah. but if you want a cameo, we're still doing them tonight. It's okay. Paul will do them. We'll John, do Harris, a little bit. John Walters. John's on there. I can't see him. John hasn't unblocked me yet. He's unblocked me on WhatsApp, but he hasn't unblocked me on Instagram. That's right. Like, Paul, I'm going to hang up with you. I'm going to go live with John Yates, if he's still out there, or any of the other cast <laughs> members. Paul, take care of Karini. Treat her like the yeah. queen that she is. Whatever you do, always put your wife first. Make her come first. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, so I'm trying to find somebody that speaks Portuguese that can help her out with that whole thing. Um, and then I could find, like I said, go back to a doctor again locally and get her, you it's know. It's not. I'll, I'll try and translate because, Paul, I've, I've been through a lot of things. Anyhow, brother, yeah. take care of the family. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. I appreciate um, it. May Santa bring you everything you want, except for fisting in your ass. But besides that, Ooh, everything you no. want, all the good gifts. No. Bubba, no. Bubba, no. Well, Santa's no. got me covered, dude. I got my, I got my toys. I'm good. <laughs> Merry Christmas, brother. I got the whole collection here. I got three or four of them. No, my fire pit, <laughs> I got a garden 